हेलो गाइस वेलकम यू ऑल टू द ऑफिशियल सेट कॉमर्स यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम अभिषेक त्रिपाठी या बिजनेस एनलिस्ट एट सेट कॉमर्स टुडेज वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट द सेट कॉमर्स पॉइंट ऑफ सेल सिस्टम फॉर मिजिन टू इफ यू आर रनिंग अ बिजनेस बोथ ऑनलाइन एंड ऑफलाइन एंड सेल योर प्रोडक्ट्स एट योर ऑफलाइन स्टोर्स द पी ओ सिस्टम प्लेज अ मेजर रोल टू कीप मेनटेनिंग योर डेटा एट बोथ प्लेसेस बिकॉज इट्स gather all your data on sales inventory and customers with all these informations you can calculate and run marketing campaign that encourage to customers to come to your store while maintaining your bottom line set so commerce pos system for magento 2 is a web based pos solution built on the react technology that provide the privilege to the store admin for having an online pos solution for his physical store and sync data bidirectionally it supports some great features like product barcode scanner so that agent can add the product through a barcode scanner or can add manually a uh, product by entering this sku of a product admin can design the custom pos invoice agent can add the product at a uh, checkout if the product doesn't exist in a catalog by providing requ required information Now let's start with its backend configuration and see how the store admin will configure the POS system in his Magento 2 store. Once you successfully install the extension in your Magento 2 store, you will get a POS menu in the backend from where you can manage stores, manage sales agents and can get a detailed report for orders, products and credit memos. In order to configure, let's go through with its configuration section. Once you will click on configuration you will get two section to configure your POS general information and re recipient information in the general information you can enable or disable the POS by selecting yes and no from the drop down next you can specify the labels for subtotal discount tax and grand total that will be visible at checkout over POS like here we did subtotal colon and discount colon and can specify the lowest stock quantity that is required next under recipient information this is the invoice design that store admin does which is printed out from the pos order generation page you can upload the logo and can enable or disable all the entities by selecting yes and no and can specify the labels labels for each of them like display outlet then uh, here you can select yes and can specify the display outlet, outlet label once you will click on save config all the settings for pos will be saved now let's move further and see how the store admin can create and manage the store's layout for pos in order to do so go to the pos manage store section here you can see all the already created stores and can create a new one as well by clicking on add new button once you will click on this you will need to fill in the pos store details where first you can enable the store and can select the store admin specify and you can specify the store name country state city pin code street and the store view there might be a various store views that might be created by store admin for multiple locations and those store views can have a multi different types of products attached to that so here the admin need to select the store view that he want to link with the with his physical store once done with all the details can save in order to save the pos store admin can click on edit to change the store layout that are entered Now let's uh, next uh, let's see how the store admin can create the sales agents and can assign this store uh, to the sales agent. From the agent to admin under the POS under the manage agent section, the store admin can create the sales agent and can manage them as required. Admin can click on add new sales agent by clicking on add new sales agent button. same here admin can enable the status of sales agent and can specify the sales agent name under the profile image section you can upload the profile photo of a sales agent email of the sales agent 
that is used to logged in to the POS panel profile and used at other required places. Email is sent to the sales agent on the email ID provided with the POS sales agent account credentials. Contact number, country, state, city, street, pin code. From the allowed store dropdown, admin can set the store to which he want to assign the sales agent. Next, the password and confirm password section. This is the sales agent profile password. Email and password are the details that are sent to the sales agent as his credential to logged in to this to the POS sales panel. Once you will fill in all the details, you can click on save and agent details will be saved. Next store admin can see the order reports, the product reports and the credit memo reports from the store layout. Now let's go to the POS front-end panel to see how sales agent can add products and can manage everything. Now let's move to the sales agent layout for POS and let's see how the customer billing works in a sales agent layout. First of all, sales agent has to log in into the POS panel through the credentials they get from the Magento admin. The sales agent need to select first of all the customer for whom he is going to billing. If the customer doesn't exist in the system, the sales agent can add a customer account by navigating to the add customer button. Once you will click on that, the pop-up will appear where you can fill in the required details, customer details like customer name, email, contact number, etc. After filling the required detail, customer account will get created and from the sales uh, POS panel, you can select that particular customer. If the customer account is already there in a Magento system, the sales agent can directly select the customer account from the drop down. After selecting the customer from the pre existing list of a customer, the sales agent can begin uh, with the adding the product to the cart and can manage to the checkout further. In the sales agent layout, the sales agent can search for a product from the search bar or can scan through a barcode by clicking on the is barcode search checkbox or can select the product from the list here you can see multi product products are listing over here if the product doesn't exist in this particular list he can add a custom product by clicking on add custom product once you will click on that the pop-up will appear where you can fill in the required details of a product like product name SKU, quantity, price, etc. Now let, let's move further. Let me add two products and show how the checkout process will work in a POS system. Here you can see I have selected two products in the card and got a subtotal of a product. I can apply a discount code. And once I'll click on ch uh, proceed checkout, uh, I'll get a pop up where sales agent need to select whether customer wants to pay by cash or cards. Here sales agent, uh, agent can uh, select a mode of a payment that uh, made by uh, like that made available by the admin from the configuration settings. Now uh, you need to fill the tendered amount in the case of paying through car cash and service name like service provider name uh, and transaction ID of a payment in the case of paying through the card and once you will click on confirm checkout the, the order will get placed here you can see the sales agent will get a bill of that particular order that they can provide to the customer the sales agent can track all the orders generated by him from the POS system itself from the side panel under all order section you can view the orders and you can print them as well the sales agent can update the inventory of any product by searching it through the SKU in the side panel too. In order to do so, let's search for this particular SKU and click on get product details. And from the product quantity section, sales agent can update the product inventory. I am updating here 40 and click on update button. You can see the message will appear that inventory has been updated. 
now let's move further sales agent can create an online uh sorry offline refund that is credit memo from a uh, like from creating a button after like cre clicking on the create refund button the sales agent need to enter the order id to fetch the order details for whom the refund need to be generated let's search for this particular order that i have uh, already placed you can see getting uh, after submitting the order id i am getting the order details and uh, after specifying the adjustment amount and fee and once i'll click on a refund order the credit memo that is offline refund for this particular order will get generated so that's what all about regarding our point of sale system for magento 2 that comes along with outstanding features like separate web panel for sales agent sales agent can manage update the inventory to the outlist etc please contact us if you have any doubt or need more clarification at any point thank you so much for your time